Hi, Tella. It's Miss Beck, uh, the student government advisor. I'm here today to introduce all of the amazing speeches from students who are running for student government this year. This year, we have more students than ever before, almost 40. Um, and there are many powerful topics and ideas brought up within this speech or the speeches today. Uh, before we get started, though, I wanted to take this time to thank our current student government who has led us through a crisis. Um, in particular, I want to shout out our seniors, so Serene, Melissa, Wendy, Carla, Riad, and of course, Melanie. I am so proud of you and look forward to the amazing things that you are going to do in the future in college. So now you get to hear from your peers who want to lead you during these trying times. Please make sure that you check your email. Uh, that's where I will be sending a ballot to each grade because each grade has a different ballot. Um, and make sure that you vote for your favorite candidate by May 29th at 5 p.m. Okay, thank you. And now I'm going to hand it off to our speeches. Bye. Hi, my name is Jean Chen, and I would like to be your SGO president. As the ongoing pandemic has taken a toll on our lives, we have drifted apart as a school community. I believe that now, more than ever, we should be there for one another in any way possible. This is why one of my goals as your president will be to amp up the efforts to bring our school community closer. Not just now, but even after this pandemic ends and make sure it remains that way. Through online events like checking up on a peer or encouraging students from all grades to spectate our sports teams or striving for more integrated events. Having a strong school community can be very empowering for students who are feeling affected during this time, and it can be empowering for future students. Additionally, I believe that it is important for us to encourage all grades to give suggestions about their school community. Suggestions like new classes, sports, events, and activities. I want it to all come from you. I believe that I'm qualified for this position because despite being an SGO for one year, I've been working with our school community since freshman year, attending the decolonizing education conferences to discuss the reworking of the public school system, or being a part of Link Club to help those in need, or taking up roles within the theater community. I want to continue helping our school community in the most effective way possible. Let's talk about the things that we can improve on that will have everlasting effects not only our, on not only our current peers, but the future telepopulation. To conclude, I believe you should vote for me because I want to work on a better tele community and continue giving to it just like those before me. Despite our current circumstances, we can all strive for a better tomorrow together. Hi, my name is Karen Gonzalez and I would like to be your SGO student body president. One goal I have as your student body president is I vow to end all homework. Just kidding, I can't do that. But what I can do is I can work with the school administration, SGO, and you all to help make next year a memorable one at Tella. One goal I have is I plan on promoting school spirit at Tella. Throughout my past few years at Tella on an SGO, I've noticed we've often had a problem for school showing school spirit. Given the current pandemic, I know that having more spirit and community events will help make everyone feel more connected to our school. As your president, I would plan more spirit days, promote them with the help from the social media manager, and also participate in events, of course. One spirit day I plan on bringing, I believe many of you will enjoy, is a retro Disney Channel day. We will have a great time dressing up as our favorite childhood shows, and so many more spirit days. Overall, I see my main purpose next year is to work to bring our tele community closer, whether we are in school or online. Another goal I have is supporting your ideas and concerns you bring to me and SGO. My goal is for you to trust me and to build relationships with you. I have been an SGO for over two years. I have had the opportunity to be the sophomore representative and currently be your SGO vice president. During my year as sophomore representative, I successfully fundraised enough money for my grade to enjoy the trips to Six Flags and a sophomore camping trip. Last year, I noticed there were long lines in a cafeteria. We would have them less minutes to eat our lunch after just receiving it. 
I did not believe this was fair for us, so I realized the solution to this was to be the open the other side of the cafeteria. I was able to get him reinstated by starting a petition, having many of you sign it and taking it to Principal Shepard to send to the superintendent. Because we worked together, we were able to bring the other side of our cafeteria back, and this year, it was better than ever. My personality has allowed me to open up to a lot of students in my grade, and through that, I can easily learn what they need and elevate their voices. I plan on creating new relationships with as many of you. In conclusion, you should vote for me for your president because I have the right qualifications. And I will continue to fight for the things that are important to you, no matter how big or small they might be. My name is Amelia Sambone, and I will be your student body vice president. One goal I have as your vice president is to make sure that as a student body, we will have a balanced and fun school year, whether online or in person. I will completely understand and fulfill the needs, requests, and concerns of my peers. As your vice president, I will make sure to, o to be open and ready to hear ideas. I know I am qualified for this position because I know how to be a leader and to organize events. I have organized many events for SGO last year and for theater for the last two years. I hope to help make this school community a safe place where everyone can be involved. Thank you. Hi, my name is Kimberly Rodriguez and I would love to be your student body secretary. As your student body secretary, I want to find new ways to inform you guys on things that are going on within our school and our New York City community during the pandemic. I will also try my best, I will do my best on giving you guys daily school related announcements, even if it's online right now. I also want SGO to run smoothly, so I'd be making organized meeting agendas and where we discuss what's best for you guys and school. I will notify you guys quickly on any decisions made. Um, I will make sure that we can make events that are beneficial to the school and the community and within your interests so that we have happy students and teachers. I will try my best to make events fun and interesting so that everyone is happy. You guys should vote for me because I found someone who's fun, outgoing, and when I want to do something, I go for it. So I can surely make our community better and more connected than we are now. I want us to grow together based on what you guys want so that we have a school full of happy students and teachers. So I really appreciate if you guys will vote for me because I will try everything I can to make you guys comfortable and happy. My name is May Syed and I would like to be the SGO secretary. One objective I have as your secretary is to make sure news and information is delivered efficiently. Students can feel like they are missing out on information, including me, and I don't blame you. I will take this into consideration if voted for as SGO secretary. I promise to speak coherently for everyone to hear me on the announcements next year. Another intention is to make sure you all are informed of all school events so that you can get the most out of whatever is sent to you in the most efficient way possible. As usual, activities regarding extracurriculars will be announced, and so will be the school dances, school spirit days, and the school announcements. I am focused, fair, and determined. I will support you all next year, and that'll never change. I have great public speaking skills and step out of my comfort zone for others. I'm a realist, but have never once purposefully hurt anyone's feelings. I hope to see you all next year as your SGO secretary. Hey, HSET. My name is Mira Sarsour, and I would like to be your student body secretary. One goal I have as your secretary is to make sure that every student is aware of any important information by clearly announcing all upcoming events and reaching out to any student who is unsure about those events. If we are online, I would do this by making short school announcement videos of myself saying all the key information that you will need for the rest of the week, which will also help keep us all connected throughout this time. 
Another goal I have is to organize activities that are both beneficial and interesting enough for everyone to attend to make sure no one is missing out on anything. This includes allowing some upperclassmen to give helpful advice to students in other grades via Zoom calls if needed. I'll also be as open as possible for any of your suggestions to allow you to speak your mind. I am qualified for this position because I'm confident with sharing out my ideas with everyone and making sure I'm speaking well enough for you to comprehend what I am announcing. I'm also very approachable and understanding so that everyone can feel comfortable with sharing ideas with me. Lastly, I am very organized with all of my work and I will take initiative to make sure everyone is feeling included. So, you should vote for me, Mir Sarsour, as your student body secretary because I will ensure that we can all express our ideas and be aware of any key events to make this upcoming school year one to remember. Hello, HSTAP. My name is Luce Torres, and I'd like to be your SGO secretary. As secretary, I see the many possibilities of coming out of my shell and learning brand new people skills. I hope to get better with public speaking, creating agendas for the SGO, and working and brainstorming with my peers. My main goal as secretary is to keep note of every individual's opinions, comments, and work effectively with the SGO to achieve those goals. Additionally, I want our community to grow stronger in communication and participation. I have experience in peer mediation, thus I can help with talking to many students. I'm excited to learn and grow, and I'm motivated to help us grow together. Your vote is essential to make this happen. Hello, I'm Nicole Wong, and I'm HSAT's next student body treasurer. Next year, our SGO will do everything they can for the Tala community. The values I bring to the role of treasurer are integrity, teamwork, and passion. Regarding my role, I hope to keep financial information for SGO in a way that's clear, as well as run school events efficiently to build a stronger community in our school. Academically, I've done well and I'm good at budgeting, and it is vital for me to make an impact here at our school. As a creative person, I will provide dedication to Tala with new ideas regarding how to run the school store safely once we are back and regarding ways to save money. For instance, I will make sure all the money in the store is organized as well as have popular trips for easier access so students can quickly come in and out. I hope to work with students and the faculty to build our resources in new and creative ways. Hello student body and staff. My name is Christy Fernandez and I'm a sophomore at HSAT and I'll be your club council coordinator for 2020-2021. Throughout my time at Tela, I was involved with many extracurricular activities, dance club, gardening club, and the makeup club. Being in these different clubs has allowed me to be open-minded and to try new things. I was also a member of SGO this past year. Being a part of SGO has allowed me to be a leader and an advocate for the school. With that being said, I promise to hear everyone out and their ideas on how we can improve our clubs and more. If you don't already know, Club Council is where a set of representatives from each club come together once a month to discuss our daily activities and events we want to have in the future, and as well as what we are doing in our clubs. I hope to continue these meetings whether we meet online or in person. As the Club Council Coordinator again this year, I will make sure to regularly check in with Ms. Beck and club advisors to work to improve club activities and attendance. Together, we can all make our clubs as engaging as we can. As Henry Fraud said, coming together is a beginning, keeping together is progress, and working together is a success. Thank you all for listening to me, and I hope everyone has, I hope everyone is doing well, and I hope everyone has a nice summer. Together, we can make a change for the better. Hi everyone, my name is Gwen. I'm currently a rising senior and I'll be Tella's event coordinator. The event coordinator plans and organizes any events held in the auditorium and I'm extremely qualified for this position because I've been in HDOT's theater program since the beginning of my sophomore year working with the tech crew. I know how to operate the school's soundboards, spotlights, music, and projections. I also know how to communicate and collaborate with anyone in SGO or not to bring any school-wide ideas to life. I'm passionate about the kind of events that can and should be held at our school and I believe it's important to show, represent, and celebrate our diversity at each step. Thank you for listening. Hello, HDAP. I'm Yasmin McDowell, and I'm going to be your equity coordinator. But what does equity really mean? 
Some say it stems equality, but I disagree. Equity is being fair and giving everyone what they need to succeed instead of giving everyone the same things. Each and every student in our schools at different chapters of their lives, they need different things to thrive. I'm a member of the Gender Sexuality Alliance, the Muslim Cultural Club, and the Social Action Club. This qualifies me for this job because it shows I try to reach out and understand my fellow students. Students, sh students should feel safe and comfortable in school as is a place we spend most of our time in. For example, having meetings to discuss and educate to lay teachers, staff, and students about social justice issues that we may not be correctly aware of or cultural norms that we can bring awareness to so that others are informed. Ignorance is a dangerous thing and I'd like our school to be aware of what goes on. I'd also like to bring attention to clubs like GSA that provide a safe space for all students. My goal is to make sure every student, teacher, and staff member is seen and heard. We may not be in school physically and everything's uncertain during this trying time, but I'd like to be a helping hand at all students to tell you no matter race, ethnicity, gender, socioeconomic status, sexual orientation, size, etc. This school, our students and teachers deserve an equity coordinator who's attentive, compassionate, a good listener, and helpful. I like to think of myself as all these traits. Whether I win or lose this election, I will strive to do whatever I can in order to make our school a better and more welcoming space for as long as I attend. That is my goal, and if I do win, I hope others share my dream and strive to make it reality. My name is Yi Chen, and I would like to be your equity coordinator because I believe that as students, our work to understand social issues isn't done. One goal I have as your equity coordinator is to continue engaging with the staff equity committee to um, start conversation and engage in issues surrounding equity. I was looking forward to um, continuing those plans last year as your SGL um, equity coordinator, but those plans were cut short due to unforeseen circumstances. And theoretically, the ideas I had would have helped the staff understand um, what the students believe um, we could improve on as a school. And I really wanted to include students in this, into a discussion surrounding equity because um, from my knowledge, almost um, all, all, all issues surrounding equity, um, while we're talking about initiatives, most of them are talked about by the staff, but I really believe that if we get um, <clears throat> students to engage in those um, discussions outside of classrooms, then we would be able to um, have a better understanding about what we need as students to make the school a better place. Um, another goal I have as your equity coordinator is to use the power of social media to start conversations because um, equity issues um, extend beyond our school grounds. And I believe that when we use the power of technology and use our resources, um, we are able to optimize um, our potential to spread awareness and we can do that through the power of likes, shares, and reposts to gather attention towards equity issues. I'm qualified for this position because I'm detail-oriented, um, empathetic, and sympathetic, and I am constantly learning through my experiences as a minority. Dealing with institutionalized oppression can be difficult, but I believe in the power of numbers and together we can make the school a better place. In conclusion, I feel like you should vote for me because I have many ideas that I hope to, um, that I hope are coming to fruition, and I hope that I have your vote. Yeah, bye. Hi guys, my name is Ray Estevez, and I will be running to be an equity coordinator. I think it's very important for students' opinions, concerns, and voice to be heard and understood no matter who they are, what they stand for, or what they identify as. As your equity coordinator, I will take it upon my duty to meet with you guys, no matter if we're online or in person, and I will meet with every grade to understand your concerns and your questions moving on forward with this new school year. I also plan on, aside from there being a dance, for there to be a movie for students that want to share time with their friends and be away from home but don't like to dance, there will be a movie for you guys. I think I'm qualified for this position because I have experience going to the principal and expressing to her my classmates and I was concerned with some of the events, classwork, classes, etc. Finally, I think you should vote for me because I know there's so many things you guys want to change moving on, no matter if it's online school or in-person school, and I think I would be the best person to represent you guys. My name is Zahara Paris, and I would like to be your equity coordinator. One goal I have as your equity coordinator is to make everyone feel safe, no matter who you are, where you come from, what you look like, or what you believe. As a community, we have to work together to make everyone feel welcome and believe in each other. Because when one of us starts to take action to help others, more people will step in no matter how big or small the action is. Another goal I have is to make people aware of mental health issues and how they can impact other people. We have to be aware that some people might be going through things and keeping it to themselves. And if we brought it up, brought up anxiety or depression in our classes, people might feel more comfortable expressing themselves. Whether we are online or in person, I would like to give regular anonymous surveys to help people out with their emotions, how to stay in our school, and so we can try to make changes to make everyone welcome. I want you to not hesitate to ask for help or advice from SGO. Furthermore, I would like to make more opportunities for those of us who feel too shy to speak, to 
share our voices through doing things like painting, writing, or drawing to express ourselves in our school. I am qualified for this position because I am empathetic. I know how it feels to have a lot of anxiety when doing many things in school and was bullied at a very young age. My parents and many teachers helped me cope and they made me feel like I could accomplish anything. It is one thing to have a person that listens to you and tries to understand you. And it is another thing to have someone listen to you and know how what it feels like to be in your shoes. In conclusion, you should vote for me to help every single person feel at home and no matter any step. Hi, my name is Agnes Katul and I am running for equity coordinator. I feel that I'm an ideal candidate for this position because I'm trustworthy, honest, responsible, empathetic, a great communicator, and a born leader. Giving advice to others, having morals, and spreading positivity are more attributes that I can give to this position. I love taking control of appropriate situations and working my way around it to solve an issue, while also considering others' ideas, feelings, and opinions, and letting them have a say that way we can all progress equally. The reason I considered running for equity coordinator is because I have both seen and experienced Situations where all aspects of equity, equality, and justice were not being valued. I have thought and replayed these situations many times afterwards and thought about the many different strategies that could have been used to solve it and how each one would affect the people involved. I will always be unbiased when trying to assist a conflict. That way, I can get the whole story from each person's point of view, knowing how to appropriately handle the problem. Many students have been in situations where they wish someone would step in and to help take charge of ending a problem that they were facing, hence one of the many reasons as to why I am running for this position, with the goal to make every student in need feel comfortable and not hesitate to come forward for my help no matter the status, circumstance, or position that they are in. If there is anything I would like for you all to remember from this speech is that I will always try my best to help solve your problems and promise to make Tele a fair and non prejudiced community. My name is Jacqueline Angel Molina and I would like to be your health and wellness coordinator. One goal I have as your health and wellness coordinator is to ensure that our school community is safe. Everyone's health matters in Tella, that includes students and staff. We're all dealing with this together and although we all have different statuses, we're all dealing with similar issues. When school starts again, we should be given time to adjust back to our school lives and get comfortable with the new things that we have to deal with. We can do this by having an assembly when we return to school to go over changes that are going on and any concerns from students, teachers, and families. Another goal I have is to make Tele a community that will make everyone feel safe and comfortable. It's hard to be comfortable in a place that's always busy, but it is possible to maintain our social, personal, and academic lives without being stressed or strained mentally. There should be a space in the school that students could use as a safe place to sign in and breathe for five minutes throughout a stressful day, with the option to talk to a counselor. This could be something that everyone could benefit from in the school, and in the long run could help cause less stress leading to better grades. I think I am qualified for this position because I deal with mental issues and still manage to complete everything else in my life with the help of the staff in our school. It's my turn to repay them and help other students and teachers that feel the same way I did. In our current situation, we all need someone to talk to every now and again, and I want to be that person for others. My name is Catherine Brickell, and I'm running to be your health and wellness coordinator. If I got elected, I'd have many goals to accomplish, but here are my top two. My first one is to create a place where students can talk to with one another about private matters with unbiased feedback. Sometimes talking to an adult about personal things can be scary or nerve-wracking, so having other students like peer monitors to talk to regularly would help others feel comfortable and safe in the school. And another goal that I have is to have a healthier and cleaner environment at school. Instead of the staff looking after the garbage in the halls and classrooms, we should all do our fair share of cleaning ourselves. Looking after one another and actually cleaning up objects that we used instead of leaving it to the custodians or the teachers will provide a nicer and safer environment for everyone. If we have a regular cleanup at the end of each class, then we won't have to worry about germs in school. I'm qualified for this position because I care about all of our students and about spreading the science-based knowledge about COVID-19. So if you vote for me, I would ensure the transition back to, into the school whenever it may be, is more comfortable and safe for everyone. I would also work to create a healthier learning environment where students can also have peers to talk to. I have many more ideas and I won't let you down. Thank you for listening and I hope I can win your vote for the Health and Wellness Coordinator. Hello everyone, my name is Ariana Diaz and I'd like to be your Health and Wellness Coordinator. Since we've been hit with coronavirus, some things will have to change at our school and one goal I have is to make sure we incorporate some aspects of social distancing when we go back to school. One way to do this is by separating everyone's desk. When we separate our desks, we will be making sure we all have our own personal space and it lowers the risk of someone getting sick because we aren't directly sitting next to each other. 
Also, I know that when we have certain gym classes, we're either invading each other's personal space or there's just barely any space. One way I intended fixing this is by separating ourselves into smaller groups. Another goal I have is to make sure the school invests in more cleaning supplies, specifically wipes and certain sprays that kill viruses. If our school invests in both those things, we will make sure we set up some sort of system on students using them. One thing we can do when we get these cleaning supplies is wipe down our desk as a do now for each lesson. Wiping down or spraying our desk with antibacterial products will kill po the possible germs left by other people, making it less of a risk of us all getting sick. I'm qualified for this position for two reasons. One, I tend to make sure everyone around me is safe and well. And two, if you have any ideas or requests about ensuring we all stay safe in school, I will take your request up to SGO to negotiate a plan to incorporate your ideas in ensuring our school safety. In conclusion, you should vote for me because I will make sure our school and everyone in it will fight through the tough times we're currently going through. And I will make sure everyone comes out of these times happy and healthy. Hello, my name is Andrew Garrido, and I'm running to be our school's health and wellness coordinator. For many of us, 2020 was supposed to be our year, but then the COVID-19 global pandemic blew us off course. For the coming years, however, it is my hope to build up our school's physical and mental resilience so that another virus of this nature will never hit us this way again. Health and safety is very important, and thus I'm running to put hand sanitizer stations in every bathroom and classroom to provide masks and gloves to anyone who thinks they might need it, and to work with the administration to come up with a plan to implement social distancing measures in the school. In addition, in, if elected, I will begin a peer-to-peer -peer mentoring program aimed at providing a safe and confidential space for students to discuss issues that they're facing in their life. I hope you'll vote for me because I am very committed to what I do and I have, I have the experience of being your ninth grade vice president last year. In conclusion, I hope you'll place your confidence in me and I look forward to working with you as our health and wellness coordinator. My name is Cece Jordan and I would like to be our school's social media manager. One goal I have is to keep you all informed. Times are tough right now and sometimes it's hard to keep up with everything that's happening. I know we get about 20 emails a day, so important information tends to get lost. If I'm elected social media manager, I will make sure to make posts to keep you all updated on the most important information that may have gotten lost in your email, as well as tips to keep you and your family safe. Whether it is keeping yourself safe emotionally, mentally, or physically, I want students to be able to come to our page and feel like they are being supported, entertained, and kept up to date. Another goal I have is to keep our account fun and interactive. I want to have monthly polls as to what you guys would like to see in our school, or issues you feel like we should bring up in our SGO meetings with the principal. It is important for us to hear your voices. I am a student just like you, and I understand that sometimes it's easier commenting on an Instagram story than it is writing an email or talking to a teacher in person. I want kids to be able to use our social media platform as a way to get in contact with us if that's the only comfortable way they can. I am qualified for this position because I was last year's SGO secretary and said the announcements every day, so this voice may sound familiar. I know how to keep my goals and promises as a member of SGO. In conclusion, you should vote for me because social media is something we rely heavily on and school is something that takes up most of our day. So wouldn't you want to vote for somebody who can combine both and make your life less stressful? Hi everyone, my name is Brianna Sanchez and as most of you know, I'm running as HDAT's new social media manager. Social media is something that everyone uses on a daily basis, so what if you were to use it to help make a difference at our school? As HDAT's new social media manager, I want to help improve our school's Instagram account by making sure that the content is always fresh, updated, and consistent. A current issue here at HDAT is that less than half of the students at our school are even following our school's Instagram account. However, that will change immediately as soon as I am elected. The further our school's social media reach is, the more students that will attend school activities, making an overall better high school experience. That's my motivation into taking this position to make sure that your high school experience is something that you're going to look forward to. My goal is to help promote HDAT's social media accounts, but to also bring awareness into school updates, student achievements, and helpful tips for remote learning. I want people to be able to benefit from the information presented on all of our social media accounts and to spread positivity into both our community and our high school. A change that I would have here at HDAT is for each grade to have its own content in which they can kindly communicate with one another and keep in touch with one another since each grade has different announcements that have to be made. As students at HDAT are facing the new normal, SGO should have an anonymous questionnaire that occurs every two weeks in which students are able to ask helpful and appropriate questions on our social media accounts to help increase student engagement. I am qualified for this position because I am creative, passionate, and determined into making sure that our school is represented with a social media presence that is both active and healthy. Therefore, vote for Brianna Sanchez as your new social media manager and I'll make sure that you won't regret it. Hello, 
my name is Mara Walker and I would like to become your aid staff fundraiser coordinator. I'm running for this position because I want us as an aid staff community to be able to fundraise to meet our wants and needs, but also to have fun. My first goal as your fundraiser coordinator is to create diversity in, in activities instead of difficult ones, which will keep us entertained, but also help the clubs and teams profit more. My second goal is to make activities planned out and profitable. Since many of you don't want to participate in activities, um, fundraising activities since you think it's not worth the money or you have to choose between activities I promise you as your fundraiser coordinator I'll make them planned out and cost effective so you'll be able to attend and participate in all the fundraising activities I'm qualified for this position because I am a good planner and an organized person I handle I balance all my schoolwork and my after school programs very well which means I will be able to attend every single meeting to be able to speak for our community also to help our clubs and teams and our community and more. In conclusion, you should vote for me because if anything COVID-19 taught us is that we should make our time special and make the most out of it. Thank you. Hi, my name is Jasmine Castro and I would like to be your fundraising coordinator. One goal I have as your fundraising coordinator is to create a variety of ways to make events amazing for you all. One idea I have is to do a recycling drive where we partner up with a company that buys up all the items we recycled which would also be very good for the environment. Another idea I have is to do a hot dog burger day where we charge one to five dollars for people to buy at an after school event or even a sports game. Whatever we do to make money, I want to make sure that all clubs and sports have an equal amount of money raised to make sure that we can fund all of our school's activities and necessities. I am qualified for this position because I have been involved in fundraising groups such as my church for four years, additionally in middle school, funding necessities and activities for my school. In conclusion, you should vote for me because I would do my best to make sure everyone is provided with what they need. Thank you. Hi, my name is Stephanie Gonzalez and I would like to be your fundraising coordinator. One goal I have as your fundraising coordinator is to expand fundraising to another level. And this time it's important to not only raise money for our clubs of sports, but also to help raise money for the needs of our community around such as new computers, food, books, or other school supplies, air conditioners, etc. Another goal I have is to work closely with the S other SGO coordinators to raise money for causes like preventing eating disorders, suicide prevention week, Earth Day, etc. I'm, I think I'm qualified for this position because I've been a member of the Red Cross Club where I help the members to coordinate who would come in the mornings to serve food to the staff and students, attend weekly meetings to discuss food supplies and sales, and come most days of the week before school to help the distribution. In conclusion, you should vote for me because I'm organized and efficient with my plans, and I'm motivated to better our fundraisers to help our school and community. Hello, my name is Isabel Velasquez, and I would like to be your fundraising coordinator. Let's face it, how many times have we heard the phrase, do you want to buy some chocolate? Or I've seen your friends carrying around these big boxes of candy, hoping to sell them all so that they don't have to come back with it. As your fundraising coordinator, one goal I have is to increase the variety of fundraisers available in our school. Our main fundraisers include selling candy, movie nights, and big sales, but that does not mean we're solely limited to these options. Some ideas for fundraisers include game nights, where we can have both traditional board games and video games with tournaments for a little bit of competition. Sports events where students not on that sports team can enter to play with or against people of that team. Or a team of hearts fundraiser, where we can have students buy paper hearts in different colors and write a message to students, staff, and teachers to, to show their appreciation for each other. This would later be taped on a wall. Another goal I have is to not only raise money for school, but have fun and connect with others along the way. Further building our school community. I'm qualified for this position because I'm a reliable, approachable, creative person, and I love to listen to others' ideas. I feel like this is important when it comes down to bouncing ideas for fundraisers because I will keep your ideas in mind and I guarantee to try my best to push for them to become a reality. In conclusion, you should vote for me because together we can change the fundraising game. My name is Abdelaziz Abdelrahman. I like to run into 12th grade class president. Surprise, right? I didn't think I had any me either. I was motivated by friends and family and if they believe in me, then you should too. As your class president, I can ensure we seniors are able to enjoy our final year and tell it to the best of my ability. My goals are many. For example, I want to plan as many events throughout the school year, both online and in person. One idea I have in mind if online learning continue to, our, is to continue to next year are student-led video clubs and meetings. As you know, our previous school year has been cut short, 
So I'll do what's in best interest for you all to try to get many bonding moments, competitions, and activities together before we say our farewell. Many students will miss their friends, including myself. So meeting online and seeing each other's faces just to talk, catch up, and virtually hang out can be relieving. Another idea I have in mind for next school year are sports related and or cooking competitions that the cooking club can host. With these competitions, we can enjoy ourselves while finding out who is supreme in cooking, as well as various other sports, whether online or in school. As a person, I have determination and a strong will to get things done while getting a good laugh out of it. The final experiences are the funny ones, right? I want to hear what you all have to say and I am open to include everyone's opinion. I would say I am easily approachable and as your senior class president, I wouldn't be bossy but instead be caring and supportive for our class's needs. In conclusion, you should vote for me as your class president. Trust me when I would say I would try to make this lasting and enjoyable for you all. And I will never give up. I promise. Hey, my name is Miguel Crisantos and I want to be your 12th grade president. My main goal among all of us is to have strong connections. Through SGO, I will be able to hear the ideas of our entire class. This will lead to us having a variety of different events, whether online or in person. Another goal I have for us is to fix our fundraising issue. I noticed that we all have a difficult time selling the same product in a short period of amount of time. It should not be how it is. We should sell a variety of different products of snacks, goods, and just candy in general. This should be assigned to a different groups so we can all sell more stuff in a short period of time. I am qualified for this position because I can talk with a variety of different people without any hesitation. I will take your ideas and promise to bring them into our SGO meetings as long as I could. If we can't get your idea, then I promise there will be, there will be a compromise so we can all be satisfied. Therefore, you should vote for me because I promise I got I, I got you. It's a time for a change, you know, whether online or in person. Change just changes and like, you know, it's a better change for everything, you know. Hello, everyone. My name is Ivan and I would like to be your senior president. A goal I have as your senior president is to elevate your voices and take any suggestions you have to help improve the school and the grade. In addition, I would also like to plan events to help out with the grade. Another goal I have for you all is to be your friend. I would love to help others when it is needed. I would love to hear what everyone has to say about planning events. Examples could be dances, board game nights, etc. I am qualified because I've planned events and trips before as your 11th grade vice president, and I'm willing to take any feedback on my work. All in all, you should vote for me because I am here to represent my seniors and tackle on the last year of high school. Let's do this. Hi everyone, my name is Yasmeen and I'm running to be your future 11th grade president. If you don't already know me, here are some things to keep in mind. I'm very patient, responsible, and communicative. Meaning, if there are any potential ideas you guys want brought to life, I should be the one that you're voting for. For example, previously being in an SGO in middle school, I was very vocal and outspoken about the problems we were facing. I never went down without a fight then, and I won't go down without a fight now. I am able to manage my time very well, so you can always depend on me to make time for us as a class. For example, I can manage my workload while being in an honors class and having time for all four of my extracurricular activities. I am also very driven and passionate about the things that I care about, and I care about us as a community. I'm also very energetic and active, so I'll do a lot of work for this locality to be its strongest and happiest. Last summer, to raise awareness about global warming and environmental justice, I worked with other students to group vegetables and herbs, handing them out to people free of cost. We were able to spread the message and got people talking. Our school should do more things like this to connect us with our local neighborhoods. I will think of innovative and creative ways to fundraise for us as a class. For example, having game nights like Kahoot, iSketch, Minecraft, Roblox, etc. And anything else that our class would like, whether or not we're online. A goal I have for the duration of my presidency is to make sure that all of our voices are heard. I want for us to not be afraid of who we are, what we want, and when we want it. I'll do what it takes to be your best president yet. Vote for me and I promise to not let you guys down. My name is Jibril Ahmad and I am running to be your 11th grade president. A leader should want to lead more people to do better, whether it is for our own school or for the world. I want to inspire the students at our schools to become more confident in their own skin and to know that they can call me for anything. One of the many goals I have for each that is to make our 11th grade year one of the most memorable years of our life. To make up for the lost time during our 10th grade year, I want us to remember that our junior year was one where we could tell stories forever. I want to give new opportunities to our grade and encourage joining new sports, clubs, events, etc. I want to push the school to create a new club of their own 
and to hold the vote for what new enrichment they would like. We offer many clubs and extracurricular activities as a school, but I want to give everybody the opportunity to have something they'd like to do for themselves. One example of this can be opening up a ballot to vote for new clubs like Chemical Reactions Clubs or Spanish Speakers Club. This will give students more of a voice and awareness of new clubs. Another goal I have for us is to make sure everyone feels safe as the person they are and that everyone is accepted for who they are. Equity must be present at our school and I want to incorporate it into all of our lives. I am qualified for this position because I know how to maintain everybody's mutual respect and for all of us as people. In conclusion, you should vote for me because I'll try to make this the best year of your life. Hey, Soon TV 11th graders. My name is Amiya and I would like to be your 11th grade president. One goal I have as your president is to organize great activities and events that will be enjoyable and in our best interest. As your president for online learning, I will make a Google form to see what you guys want to do before deciding myself. I will also communicate with our teachers to see what they want us to learn from these activities while asking them to help organize the events so we get to know them better. Another goal I have is to promote scholarship and leadership ideas amongst the 11th grade to make sure we have all the resources possible. I would also like to be a mediator for any problems. I am qualified for this position because I have past presidential experience by being the president of my middle school. I am a reliable and dependable person and a good listener who wants to hear everyone's ideas, as well as a great negotiator to get what I want. I will respect what everyone has to say and I'm very friendly, so you can express yourself to me any way you can. In conclusion, you should vote for me because I will be dedicated to this job and assure you that our 11th grade year will be great. Thank you. My name is Nancy Shannon and I'm running for junior class president. As we all know, 2020 hasn't been the best so far, but as your future junior class president, I will do anything it takes to try and turn that around. One goal is to make sure that each that students don't lose contact. We will do our best to keep students talking by having peer group meetings. These meetings will not only allow you to stay in contact with your friends, but will also give you a chance to meet our fellow peers and potentially make new friends. Another goal is to have more school spirit days that all grades may participate in, such as having more pajama days and wearing your favorite jersey day. All these fun days of us showing our spirit will make sure that our h that family comes closer and closer together. I'm qualified to be your future class president because over the past two years, I have started a petition to raise awareness for Black Lives at h that and I've gathered over 200 signatures as a freshman. I have also made a speech outside of a courthouse also for Black Lives, all while being part of our girls basketball team, part of the NYPD Explorers, and while maintaining my grades. As your future president, I will not be afraid to speak up. I will be a loud and clear voice for our 11th grade year. In conclusion, you should vote for me to be your future class president so we can make things happen and better our h that community. Vote for Nancy Shannon as your 11th grade president. And don't forget to stay home and stay safe. My name is Shannon Amagon and I would like to be your future 10th grade h that president. One goal I have as your future 10th grade president is to make Align Community Voices heard more at h that. I believe that our Latin roots or any of our culture roots are something we should be proud to share and represent with others around us. We could all feel a little more connected just knowing there's classmates sharing the same traditions or customs as you. By sharing about our cultures more, we can all expand our knowledge and not just students from the Latin community. Another goal I have is a future 10th grade president to create stronger bonds between teachers and students. As a current freshman, I know how it feels to not really have a teacher you feel like you can go to at the start of a new year. I was hoping to plan some type of activity that will get students and teachers to know each other outside of a classroom. Well, many of us have found that teacher who we feel like we can go to, some of us are still struggling. I want to be able to help those of you who are still struggling to build connections with their school. I'm a trustworthy and honest person, so I'm hoping to show all of you as your future 10th grade president. What motivated me to run for president was what I saw that many of you are too shy to make your voices heard. Many of you have great ideas, and I want you all to have a president who you feel like you can share your ideas and concerns with. Maybe someone like me. In conclusion, I would make a great future president because not only am I reliable and an independent, but I will speak for those of you who don't yet make their voices heard. We should be a community that supports each other. Thank you and vote for me. Hello, class of 2023. My name is George Lopez and I am running for 10th grade president. As the incoming 10th grade president, I will provide a platform that reflects the student body. I will nurture students' participation and collaboration a collaboration where every voice is taken into consideration. One of my first goals as president will be to provide a more stress-free learning environment, especially now that we are learning from our home. In times when virtual learning is critical with keeping our community safe, there are some of us struggling with slow Wi-Fi, 
some of us being tasked with taking care of our younger siblings, which makes it harder for us to replicate a productive learning environment. And most of us feel like we have been tasked with teaching ourselves. We need to address these issues. We are a generation that will face many challenges. The climate crisis that threatens our future. The mass incarceration that targets black and brown men. The ever rising cost of housing. The replacement of labor with technology. And now a global pandemic. We need to make sure that we all have a chance at graduating high school with a set of tools that will help us tackle these problems. As 10th grade president, I will always be there for you. Hi, my name is Anne-Marie Monier and I would like to be your 10th grade president. One goal I have as your 10th grade president is to listen to everyone's voice and make sure to make amazing changes throughout the school community. Another goal I have is to make sure my grade gets along with each other and don't bully each other. I think my grade specifically should send out a Google form to see how comfortable they feel talking with other people in the grade and to see how comfortable they feel in the school building and use every one of those responses to plan new events and new activities. An event I would like to see is a day where we take activities to build communication skills not just in our friend groups though throughout the whole entire grade i am very passionate about participating in student government because i really do want to see change happen in our school community and i am qualified for this position because when i was in middle school i was student body president i know this position takes a lot a lot of responsibility and i have previous experience so i'm ready for that in conclusion you should vote for me because i feel like i can make a positive change for us the class of 2023